Hey guys, Dr. David Stein here and uh, the author of The Whole Life, Finding God's Rhythm for Your Spirit, Soul, and Body. So excited to be with you in day 10 leading up to the launch of the book. Uh, it is available for pre-order still and I would love, love, love for you to take part in the five major bonuses that I have available if you pre-order it. You could just type the word bonus in the comment section below and I'll Facebook message you back with a link so that you can get, so you can pre-order and get all those bonuses. One of the big bonuses is over 12 hours of teaching in something that I call the Whole Life Boot Camp, where I walk you through every chapter in the book, but also help you to develop something called a Whole Life Plan, key part of it. Uh, love again for you to take part of those bonuses. You can also find out more about the bonuses and do the pre-order at uh, the book's website, which is thewholelife.org slash book. All right. Well, hey, I want to dive in and talk about the last chapter, um, which is the last part of the third section on body, our physical body. Uh, so far in this section, we talked about the idea of having proper nutrition, having uh, a physical fitness uh, plan for your life, uh, maybe even having that athletic hobby, which I talk about in the book, which I think is a real shortcut to getting all you need uh, for your own physical fitness. And today I wanna to talk about what is a critical, critical part of maintaining and taking care of your body. In fact, in Mark 2.27, Jesus talks about this idea that Sabbath is actually made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And what he means there is this idea of taking one day out of the seven days of the week off is actually something that was a gift to mankind. Not a legal thing that we just kind of had to every six days we need to take a day the next day off. Um, it was never meant to be a legal legalism kind of thing. It was always meant because God who designed our bodies knew that after every six days, we were gonna to need to take a full day off so that we could not only uh, worship and focus on Him, but really our bodies needed the rest and uh, in order to get ready for another set of six days being your very best. I wanna share something with you actually from the book that I refer to as three keys to a Sabbath rest. Now, I firmly believe that since the Sabbath was created for man as a blessing, as a gift, it, it can really be any day of the week that makes sense for your life. I know a lot of people work on Sunday. Well, heck, I'm a pastor. Pastors work on Sunday, so it may not be the best day for you to fully relax and uh, enjoy your life. So these are three keys. Kind of as we wrap this conversation, these will be appropriate as well. First key to rest is to rest your physical body. It's what we've been talking about for the last three days and kind of giving yourself a chance to uh, recreate or you know what that word really means is recreate. Give yourself an opportunity to kind of get a fresh start on, uh, on the next day so that that day that you're resting you can really enjoy what God wants you to enjoy which is to actually take a break and allow your body to take a break in the process. The second one, and the second key to rest is to recharge your soul. I'm gonna read this to you from Mark 8, 36. It says this, it said, what good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? You know, it's so important that we rest our mind, will, and our emotions. And what that scripture is talking about is this idea of constantly feeling like I need to make it happen. I need to make things come about in my life. And this is our mind, our will, and our emotions. That's really the part of you. Your personality is the part of you that six days a week is kind of getting it done um, uh, all the time. And really what we're able to do on that seventh day, whatever day that Sabbath in your life can fall on, is we're actually just saying, you know what? I am going to, in faith, trust that God has got me right where he needs me to be. He is covering everything that I feel like I might need to be working on. And instead, I'm going to take this time to really give 
my mind, will, and emotions, my soul, the rest that it really does need. All right, the next area, the third key to rest is to refocus your spirit. And I think this was part of the original intent of God giving us this Sabbath day, this day off. In fact, it made it into the uh, top 10 commandments. Keep the Sabbath day by making it holy. It's set apart, which is what that word holy means, but also making a day holy means honoring God with that day. And you can do that through the, the three parts that really help you to grow spiritually, that help you with your spiritual formation, which we've talked about, which is spending time that day in prayer. Uh, maybe have some worship to kind of help you in your prayer time, encourage you. We talked about that uh, in day one of this uh, journey, day one and two, we talked about prayer. And then the second thing that you do is really get into God's Word. And that's where Bible reading becomes such a critical part of that Sabbath day. So look, you're not doing literally nothing. You're doing something, but you're making the day holy. You're turning it into a day, not just set aside, but set aside truly for the Lord. And then the third area, of course, is refocusing in on that dream that God has for our life. This is really a way to restfully know that God's in control, but also to kind of remind yourself what the mission at hand really is, that this life really is all about fulfilling your purpose in Christ and kind of refocusing so that whenever you hit the next day and start the six days where you are gonna be working and applying your life, using your soul, using your body, using your spirit, you're gonna really know why you're doing all of it. It's gonna be a reminder that I am fulfilling God's purpose for my life. Boy, that's a restful thought in and of itself. Well, hey, those are the three areas that you can really kind of focus on to make a successful Sabbath day a part of your whole life rhythm and in the process, truly find God's rhythm for your spirit soul and body. Well, hey, uh, by the way, just want to mention again about the book. If you've already pre-ordered, thank you so much. If you've been enjoying these videos of the last 10 days now, I want to just say thanks for tuning in. Hope you've gotten so much out of this. You can still uh, pre-order today as well as get those bonuses just by typing the word bonus into the comment section below and I'll Facebook message you back a link so that you can pre-order and take advantage of those five bonuses that I'd love to get into your hands to help you into your whole life journey and see God help you find that rhythm for your spirit, soul, and body. Also, if today has encouraged you, uh, please share it so that other people can see it. I'm sure there's a lot of other people that would be encouraged to hear and learn about how they can get a rhythm in their spirit, soul, and body. All right, that's all I've got for you. God bless you guys, and enjoy the book. Bless you.